सो हाय इंजीनियरिंग जनता आई एम वैभव शुक्ला एंड टुडे आई हैव अनदर हायरिंग न्यूज फॉर यू सो बिफोर वी बिगिन जस्ट टेल मी वेदर आई एम विजिबल एंड ऑडिबल टू यू Type a yes if I am visible and audible to you. So if you can see me and if you can hear me, just type a yes and then we'll begin with the hiring that we have for today. great hi neeraganti so the hiring that we have today is from a very big company as you know it's from google everybody has read it and they are actually hiring for the software engineering graduates who are from 2026 batch anybody who's graduating with 2026 batch that particular person can apply for it but you have to have a bachelor's degree or advanced degree in computer science or computer science engineering fine so that is one preliminary thing a lot of people who are bsc computer science they often think that whether i am eligible for that or not if you are somebody who is from bsc bsc computer science you are eligible you can go ahead but if you are from bca then you can apply but i'm not very confident on the fact that you will be shortlisted the reason is they are specifically looking for the people from computer science or computer science engineering fine and the majority portion of bca is associated with computer applications i know in reality almost everything go insides but theoretically i am from the job description point of view it is primarily computer applications in bca fine now what do you need for this and what kind of locations they are offering you so hyderabad is one location bengaluru is one location gurugram is one location mumbai is one location pune is one location fine so bengaluru gurugram hyderabad mumbai pune anywhere you can be posted number 1 along with that you need to have a bachelor's degree fine now this is even bca can apply i'm not saying that they cannot apply but the point is it is not a preferred qualification it is a minimum qualification so you need a bachelor's degree or equivalent practical experience you need experience working with unix linux environments or distributed systems or machine learning or information retrieval or tcp ip now to all those people who are applying here let me tell you if you are somebody who has such internship experience in unix linux in distributed systems in machine learning in information retrieval then you can easily go ahead with this fine also if you do not have this experience don't worry if you have software development experience in c++ java python that also is enough but i'll specifically tell you one thing cracking google is no joke it is actually a very big company and today i'll share you the resources for free as well as the resources which are structured but they might not be free but i'll share all kinds of resources to you and despite of that i'll say that you need sheer amount of hard work and along with that a lot of luck on your side to go ahead and get this particular hiring fine so you to crack this you actually need a portion of luck on your side to explain the process brief to you what generally happens in google hiring is usually the hr contacts you and gives you a preparation module fine they give their own module and if you have any other query regarding this i'll be giving you time so that's one thing and apart from that you can connect to me on instagram as well fine so i'll request moderation team please put my instagram link along with that remember once you apply for it and once in this application you are selected or shortlisted first of all for that you need an ats friendly resume but once you get shortlisted hr your specific hr would send you a preparation module post that after completing that preparation module you would be given a specific time or a specific date duration where you can go ahead and appear for the first round of interview generally 3 to 4 rounds happen generally 4 rounds it is generally 4 rounds a lot of people who are great at coding they can crack it in 3 but generally 4 rounds and maximum of 5 rounds not more than that fine now 
हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस वेरी सिंपल पहली चीज जो करनी है विच इज वेरी वेरी एसेंशियल दैट इज स्टडी डी एस ए एज मच एज यू कैन फाइन आई टेल यू हाउ टू डू दैट बट एनी बडी हुज बेसिक्स ऑफ डी एस ए डन एंड ही नोज दैट आई हैव अ ग्रिप ऑन कॉन्सेप्ट यूव नोन कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर अ वाइल देन वन फिफ्टी नॉट आउट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन यू शुड सॉल्व इट अप्रॉक्सिमेटली ट्वाइस फाइन you have to revise it again and again if you have these 150 questions on your fingernails no need to do lead code 300 400 500 problems if you have these 150 questions on your fingernails you can clear any round believe me any round anything you can create you can crack and believe me anything that comes up your way in google even if it's a new question it would be out of these 150 the reason is these are different 150 patterns and this is all free of cost material when you actually combine two patterns you get a new question fine so this is kind of that material you go ahead through these 150 questions i've said it enough times now if you're somebody who is not confident enough that i can start with these 150 questions then for you what you can do is go to prep insta prime first of all after learning any language i'm expecting that you have learned a language c++ or java or python if you haven't first of all complete c++ or java or python whatever you like then out of basic coding and intermediate coding i would suggest you do a few questions from basic coding but then jump to intermediate coding and complete it thoroughly fine once you're done with it then move to 150 not out and the competitive coding portion that would help you out a lot to cover a data structures the core concepts of data structures if you want to understand them If you want somebody in video guiding you for that, then DSA in C++, DSA in Java, DSA in Python, DSA in C. In your fa any favorite language which you feel comfortable with, you can go ahead and study it out. Very simple. Apart from this, there is one very structured course available here, which is the Google course. Fine. Now in this course, if I tell you. there are specific things written and these specific things are relevant to your interview preparation as well as for shortlisting what you can do here is once you know how to build a good resume once you've built a good resume once you've gotten shortlisted then you've practiced the languages you've practiced the basic intermediate coding you go to the competitive coding you practice it out once you've practiced the competitive coding and even at topic wise i would suggest personally that you can go ahead with this competitive coding but you should focus more on 150 not out first of all that is free of cost number 1 number 2 the biggest portion the advantage that it offers over this competitive coding is it will also clear your basics in the routine fine in competitive coding you will find less time to clear your basics but in 150 not out easily you can clear those basics out now core subjects fine if i go to the core subjects when are they asked in google your dsa round would decide whether you're getting a call for the final interview or not fine if you've done dsa well then there itself it is decided that we will take him till the final round now in between those rounds when before reaching the final round you will have a few cs concepts which will be asked you will be asked about your skills you will be asked about your projects for example if you're somebody who's built things in machine learning then the projects of machine learning would be asked then various other things would be asked but coming to the cs fundamentals dbms always an essential part sql 100% puchhenge aisa ho hi nahi sakta ke bina sql ke aapka interview ho jaye fine so sql would be 100% asked in your interview post dsa the second thing which is most important for google interview is sql once sql is done os and cn should be revised software engineering methodologies should be revised and apart from that one thing that you should focus a lot upon after this is the interview preparation portion where a bit of puzzles and things are also asked fine but there is a portion where they'll be expecting you there would be a complete interview round where they would be expecting you to tell about your skills about your projects about some system design things fine so for system design get some book that is famous in your college and study that but for the skills portion we even have a few cutting edge skills here that you can go ahead and jump into for example gen ai fine 
generative AI courses right now live on the website. So I'll show you this. See, Gen AI course. So this Gen AI course can actually help you build some great projects in generative AI. It is the most cutting edge technology right now. And you'll have expertise in data bricks, you'll have expertise in version control, embedding models, chunking, endpoints, prompt engineering, everything in detail and the biggest portion, LLM, fine, which is very important. Now, how do you actually enroll into all this? If you enroll into any one course, be it Gen AI, be it Google course, be it DSA, any one course, you actually get subscription to the whole 200 plus courses you get subscription to the whole format, you get access to all those courses which are hosted on this platform. Now, these are the subscriptions, but as I'm standing here, it's my moral responsibility to give you some relief. Fine. So for that, for some financial help of yours, I'm telling you one coupon code that you can apply, which is Webhub Max. And this is the maximum discount coupon that the organization can provide you. For example, this is for the three months subscription, you're getting this amount of discount and you'll get it if you go ahead and apply. Now, shoot up your doubts. I'm ready for your doubts now. I've told you enough. It's high time. Listening, go ahead, tell me. Tell me your doubts. If there is no doubt, then we'll wrap this up. However, you can connect with us on WhatsApp, you can connect with us on Telegram and you must if you're liking the information that this channel provides, subscribe it out. And along with that, go ahead, follow on the Instagram because this link to the hiring you would get on Instagram. Once this live ends, you will get the specific link in the description box as well. Fine. So if there are any doubts, go ahead. Vivek, I hope now pretty much it is clear to you how to start interview preparation. You can simply hop on to Prime. Anybody who's in 2026 batch, who's passing out in 2026, 2025, 2026, they are eligible for it, fine. Sir, do Previnsta have Amazon guide? Absolutely, absolutely. See, Amazon interview preparation, specific course it is there. So I guess KS Naga Sai Pavan, this would help you out. DCA से किस field में जाना चाहिए? विवेक, any field that entices you. But honestly, the best fields that can be pursued after BCA are business analytics, data analytics, data science. Now these are in demand, so one should go ahead for them. Any other doubts? So. I guess there is no further doubt that's left and henceforth we'll wrap this up but guys whatever good you found in this video go ahead spread it out jo acha lage video mein jo cheeze pasand aaye wo aage spread karna and whatever you feel isn't good leave it inside me i am also a human being i also have imperfections fine but whatever good you feel that you had Go ahead, spread it out. Keep doing good for others without any expectation. Good will come back to you. Have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye. See you in the next stream.